All right, so we're back here on Stranded, the Australian Canadian Music and Talk Show. Uh, my name's Matt, and we have another Matt sitting right here in the studio with me as well. Um, hello, Matt. Let's let's say Matthew, shall we say today for today, yeah, so we don't okay. confuse everybody. So, uh, are you Matthew, or, or am I Matt? I'll, I'll be Matt. Is that okay? Okay. All right. Just so we're clear. Uh, so it's Matt sitting here as the host, and we have a Matthew Bubika from Melbourne, and his musical musical project is called Two Stowaway, and we just played a track of his called Tiger Balm. Matt is Math, Matthew <laughs> is uh, a perfect example of why I do this show because he's a real live Australian musician. Here he's come all this way. He reached out on the internet and came through our music director, who forwarded his email email to me to say that he was on his way for a bit of a North America jaunt and he wanted to touch base with as many people like myself as possible. I host this show, Australian Music is Perfect. So Matthew, welcome. I feel very welcome, Matt. Thank you. It's been great having you actually, uh, and, and Matthew has uh, crashed at my place too, um, which has been great. We've been chatting a lot about the homeland. What can you tell us about how you got here? Because, you, I mean, you're, you're on your own, you, and you have your guitar, and you literally rented a car in um, a couple uh, of days ago? Seattle. Seattle, and came up here. What was the origin of your trip and your decision to come here and, uh, and do what you're doing now? There was just a, um, I don't know, a longing for something else. And there isn't much further away from home than here, you know. Um, and it's a big space. And it's a big place. Yeah. And there's a, an attraction to North America be it the United States or Canada, to people, you know, from where we grew up, you know, there, there, there is that, that promised land element to it all. Um, and I guess that was the motivation. And, and of course, you have been here earlier. And in fact, the song we just played and basically most of the songs that you've written that you've released on the internet there are about your first trip to North America. That's correct. Um, yeah, I, I was here in, in 2008 and drove around it was a really interesting time and and from that I kind of had a few ideas and put them down and some years later it took a while but some years later we um yeah we got it down and and now we're trying to get it out and we'll see how we go but um yeah it was it was about that period um which was a very oh, how shall we call it uh, interesting moment in time I guess with the whole crash and all that was it a pretty pretty random trip through the U.S.? It was it you know just like a, a typical road trip. You didn't really know what you were going to come across. Or? Yeah, we I mean we landed in Los Angeles and we had a car and we I think we did around twenty thousand miles from memory and um, we did a full circuit and in a couple I think it was three months or four months. Yeah, that, and that's a, a long time. Yeah, wow. it was a long time and we saw a lot of things and yeah, it, it was it was um, a real experience, something that. If anyone has the opportunity, it, it's something that really changes the way one sees the world, I guess. Yeah, because America, it, it truly is foreign to the average young Australian. We're both the same age, and yeah. you, you do grow up isolated. Yeah. You just watch it on the screen. You see all the sitcoms, you see all the news. Yeah. But you don't really experience it. Yeah, and, and I think you don't really get to see the, um, the, the, the vast differences in the United States, you know, they really are 50 different states that are that are united, you know, and yeah, there's just a big difference between places and and driving around, you really start to get a, a feel for those differences. Uh, are there any any cities or places in particular that you were really drawn to, or that I know you wrote a song about Portland? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, that's a whole bunch of other issues there, but um, I I love the Pacific North Northwest. It's I mean, I don't have a favourite. Part, but it, it's of here, but it's also a little bit um, of of back home as well. Mm. And I also like places like the Dakotas and and whatnot. How about we? How about we play that live song? That uh, so we came down here earlier this afternoon, and uh, Matthew, because he, he's feeling a little worse for with a lot of travelling he's done, he was a little worried about his vocals. But I think he's done fine. We recorded this song before we went on air. So let's let's tee it up. It's a, it's a song called "And I'm Sorry About Portland." Yeah, and I guess the prefix would be, I have currently what's called the Oosterdam flu. In Dutch, it's uh, excuse my pronunciation, but it's called the Oosterdam flusterdam. 
um, which is very exotic, and I'm proud to have it currently. Um, so this is quite ordinary. Uh, for something a little bit less ordinary, check out the SoundCloud, because there's a great version of this song with, um, with the great Dave Khan on violin. And, yeah, uh, requisite apologies in advance. Well, I, I think it's great. And as I said, I said to you off air that, you know, the whole point of this is the spontaneity and, and you're a, a road-weary traveller. So, you know, this is, the, this is the document of this afternoon. And, but as you said, we, we'll, we will mention the sound ground too after this for people who want to follow um, and, and find some more of your songs. But here we go. This is And I'm Sorry About Portland um, from Two Stowaway which is the, the name that Matthew goes by uh, musically. The song is called And I'm Sorry About Portland, uh, recorded live at CRTR Radio on the 16th of May 2014 in the mid-afternoon. Tomorrow is birthday, how we see you will. The thing I can't say is words I can't. This is Stranded, the Australian Canadian Music and Talk Show on CITR 101.9 FM. We're online at ausstrandedradio.com and Twitter at Ausstranded. And we heard, just before that commercial break, Two Stowaway, a musical project from Melbourne. Um, Matthew Bubeka is the, uh, the artist who created that song and performed it this afternoon in our studio. And I'm sorry about Portland. And Matthew is joining us right now. Uh, Matthew, what can you tell us about that song? Because it must be referencing Portland, Washington. Um, uh, well, the first thing I can say is that, uh, you know, echo chamber and reverb plate required um, for, the live, for the live setting. <laughs> I was staying on, um, on, the Ori- oh, on the Pacific coast of Oregon um, with my girlfriend. And um, we went into Portland one day and went down to a music shop and I bought a guitar and started quite an intimate relationship with said guitar. In doing so, I forgot my girlfriend's birthday, um, which she wasn't really happy about. And that was 2008, so was that six years ago? Yeah, and it's basically an apology that I'm trying to, to say I'm sorry about what happened in Portland and everything else that's happened, which I am. And I think a lot of our male listeners may be able to uh, to relate it's a it's a lovely song so i mean yeah and it's good you, you got that down and you did it and i hope i hope she uh, appreciated the apology <laughs> well uh, look it's all done to impress her and she's just a lot cooler than i am so i don't think she's impressed <laughs> <laughs> well i'm impressed um that you that you were able to perform that for us this afternoon as i'm sure some of our listeners are and uh, as you say a recorded version of that can be found where exactly um just on SoundCloud, 
just to stow away at, um, on SoundCloud, and um, it's the studio version, which is is um, is a lot better, and it's got Dave Kahn um, on violin, which is great, and um, Fred Renata producing, and and Dave, um, my friend from Ewick Studio, um, who's doing all the engineering. So yeah, if you like the song, there's a better version of it out there. So two stowaway. Um one word T O and then S T O W A Y uh, SoundCloud. Yeah. 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 So we're speaking with Matthew Bubica. He is here all the way from Melbourne, which is a hell of a long way from um, where we are right now. I was really fascinated actually about. So you've already referred to a road trip you've had through the US, but this time around you took a ship all the way from Sydney yeah. to Seattle. Yeah. That is enormously great distance and you met some interesting people on the boat who yeah. happened to just happen to be Australian music fans can tell us about that yeah a, a really just a, a really great kind of um, moment in time I, I, I met a guy it, we were on the the top deck and it, it sounded like someone had fallen over so we heard a scream and we both looked uh, what's going on there and anyway we started talking and um, it turned out that that um, my friend Adam was um, was on his way home um, from Queensland, from Brisbane in Queensland, because he'd um, spent some time doing a bit of interviewing. Um, his favourite band is, I'm sure as fans of this show would know, um, a band called The Go-Betweens, and he was interviewing uh, Robert Forrester um, for some articles and things that he's writing at the moment. Yeah, we just kind of made a connection from there and... And his lovely, lovely girlfriend Marta, she was along for the for the ride, and and now we've started a band together, so that's going to be interesting. I guess we should apologise to the music public for doing that, but we'll see how we go. And it's 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 always an, uh, a kind of fun thing to to make a new friend via music. That's right. I mean, music is a wonderful thing to to for people to connect. That's how we have here, exactly. and we've. Uh, yeah, it t- turns out we we have we have a fair bit in common through what we've absorbed musically growing up, yeah. um, you know, through Triple J Radio, and you know we're of that generation where that meant a lot, and it was good quality programming then. Um, I'm not going to comment about it now necessarily, and and you mentioned the Go Betweens, of course, an absolute legendary band, and I was quite amazed when you said um, your friend on the boat uh, wanted us to play a song. And he mentioned one in particular that I thought was fantastic. Surfing magazines. Yeah. He was riding from Los Angeles to Seattle on a bike. I don't know why, but he was doing that some time ago. And, and uh, apparently a, a, um, a song came on the radio and it was Surfing Magazines. And he was really taken by it and did a lot more research into the band. And I mean, wow. To discover the go-betweens is, is a really, really special it kind is. of thing. That's, that's interesting that he discovered them through that song, which is a, la- a later day. This is way before, yeah. way, way after their golden period of yeah. brilliance. Yeah. Wow. Um, I guess it just, you know, says something about the quality of the Gabertines and um, yeah. Grant and Robert's songwriting ability, I guess. Absolutely. So um, for anyone who doesn't know, I mean, the Gabertines are absolutely legendary band, and I've, I've honestly heard people speak of them in the same same kind of caliber as Lennon and McCartney I mean that's a very big call but I mean if you, their albums are flawless uh, yeah. the original run of albums and of course tragically uh, one of the duo died um, very very early in his life I mean I don't think he was even 50 yeah. um, Grant McLennan unfortunately and but I do and this song sticks out of my mind because surfing magazines I remember it very vividly because I saw them on tour when that reformed and they were playing as a duo in Canberra and with this record The Friends of Rachel Worth and I, I, I vividly recall this song and I'm pretty sure it was the first song they played um, so let's let's play it for um, so this is a request for your friend yeah Adam so happy birthday Adam yep just a wonderful track there with uh, Robert Forster on vocals there The Go-Betweens that is from a record called The Friends of Rachel Worth that came out uh, in their their reunion period so they were phenomenally fantastic band in Australia and uh, known in Europe and has a, have a cult following around the world um, and should be way more well known than they are and uh, sadly uh, Grant McLennan 
uh, the other songwriter from the band has passed away um, at a very young age. Um, and that's a request for the uh, a friend of today's special studio guest, Matthew. It was for Adam, was it for? Yeah, for Adam and Marta as well. Adam and Marta. Um, the go-betweens and surfing magazines at track seven on the Friends of Rachel Worth. And so you met Adam and Marta on, on the ship over here to, to Australia, uh, to Canada. Yeah. <laughs> um, cool. So, wow, that's uh, fantastic that, to know that there's another great Gobin Tweeds fan out there somewhere. In well, America. I think that makes four of us. So it's you, me, and those two. And ones. those two. Um, so that's four. There's four in, in, this, in the Pacific Northwest or... Yeah, there's got to be some more. Yeah. Um, anyway, I, I, you know, I try to convert people on this show, you know, if I dig them out every f- few months. Now, of course, you know, you are, you are a songwriter and you clearly have some fine taste because you've also picked another song to play for us today. Uh, I was blown away by this when you played it in the car on the ride here. This, this, this is quality. This guy is from New Zealand. New Zealand. New Zealand. And his name is Elliot Brown. Just the... Someone who you meet and you just know that they're better than you. <laughs> um, and he won't be listening because he'll be fishing or um, doing something like that. But if he is listening, I'm going to quote him and say, it's time to oil the shotgun, Elliot. He's a bit of a mountain man, this guy. He's an authentic, folky kind of... Oh, absolutely. Yeah, good friends of Fred Renata from the, um, from the Northland region of New Zealand, which is is the furthermost northern state and just an unbelievably talented person. This song, when I heard it, I was just blown away by how good it was. And um, yeah, someone that if you ever get the opportunity, check him out because um, he just writes great songs, fantastic songs. Yeah, like from this one song, I've been like, yeah, I'm going to be hunting online to find some kind of CD to download because... Uh, I, I love it. Someone here on the comments on YouTube has said the Bob Dylan of Man- Mangu Guaturoto. <laughs> perfect, a, perfect pronunciation. <laughs> It'll be Mangu I'd say. Yeah, that's it. Mangu yeah. which must be the or town. Mangi. If you're a local, you just say Mangi. Mangi. Okay. Uh, so, how did you discover this guy? Uh, I kind of lived in New Zealand uh, for for some time. I think it was three or four years, and and in doing that, I, I met some really good people and um, a really good friend of mine, uh, Fred Renato introduced me to this guy and they play together sometimes and you know, they do what they can and and that's how, how I kind of got turned on to him. Yeah. This is Stranded and our musical guest today is Matthew Bubeka. He goes by the name Star Away and he is all the way here from Melbourne as was um, Indiana who spoke with us at the start of the show. So thanks again, Matthew, for playing that for us. Elliot Brown, smart man from New Zealand. Now, and your partner is from, well, she, she's not Kiwi, but she lives, uh, she was based there professionally, yeah? Uh, no, no, she's Kiwi. She, she is Kiwi, right. She's actually yeah. from the same same region as um, Elliot Brown. Ah, so that's how. So yeah. it's like, I just want to know, how obscure is this guy? Like, would, would do, is the only reason you know about him because of no, your partner or he no, is I known? Mean, he's, he, he's definitely known in New Zealand. Okay. And I, I think he, he's known maybe um, a little bit obscurely in America in that kind of folk scene. Mm. Um, but he's, I mean, in New Zealand, people know who he is. Mm. Um, and he's quite prolific, but he's just, I don't know, I, I, I guess not that interested in the whole business side of things. I yeah. Guess, I guess that would be a good way to put it. Yeah. Mm. Actually, that might be a good segue now into... I know, you know, you, you're here on your own with your guitar and you're traveling around and it's fantastic. You've reached out to me and you've reached out to other radio stations. What challenges have you come across? Because I know ideally you'd like to play shows and right now you really can't hear. You'd be breaking the law. Yeah, and it's not really something that I really want to do, you know, get kicked out of, of Canada or, or the United States, but it's, it's extremely difficult. And... Um, there are really, really strict guidelines for one's visa requirements and playing live shows does not fall within those guidelines. Um, and you're in breach of your visa and, and all the rest of it, so it's, it's difficult. If you had Facebook and you were putting on there, hey, I'm playing a show in Vancouver tonight, they, they probably would find that somehow, which is a shame. Yeah, and this really cool guy that I met from Vancouver was telling me stories 
about some of his friends and, and some pretty famous Vancouver bands that would try and play in Seattle or Olympia or, or Portland and um, they'd get to the border with their guitars in their, let's be honest, not that flash cars and well, they'd be turned around and not allowed to enter. Mm. So it's, it's tough for a lot of people and I don't really understand why, to be honest. Yeah, it's just competing worldviews, I guess, and control. But, and, but um, I guess, you know, the, 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 the Australian bands that do come here, they have some leverage and support and lawyers behind them who can get them those things and it costs money and that kind exactly. of thing. Yeah, yeah. and with that label support, I mean, come, comes the, you know, all the benefits of being with a label and things like visas are sorted out and, and all the rest of it. But if one, you know, doesn't have a very comprehensive legal background and, and a lot of money behind them, it's, it can be quite challenging. Well, yeah, all credit to you for coming here. And you have astutely realised that you you can perform in a non-profit setting, which includes uh, radio stations like this one. Yeah. You can um, do a, f- a handful of sh- kind of performances. Yeah. yeah. Live gigs, only I think five is the limit um, within a three-month period. But um, radio you can do, you know, as, as you choose. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's a different... Um, different medium I guess well I'm glad that you've made your way here today and uh, we are almost out of time so I did want to play one more song of yours favourite t-shirt this is a song that has a a good friend of mine again another legendary New Zealander um, two times world champion saw player Alan Pitts Um, what what, what player? saw saw what what is that? a saw So, a, a saw as in cutting things? yeah I mean you can cut a lot of things, but we tend to, to use them to cut timber yeah, uh, yeah. or lumber. Oh, so he's one of those guys who like yeah he cuts things and, and, and wins championships. That's well, cool. yeah, he plays the saw, and um, to the extent where he's played places like the um, the Sydney Opera House um, as a solo sawist. <laughs> so that um, I think should should speak of the quality. And yeah, um, it's a song about my favourite T-shirt, and I'm sure. Uh, we've all gone through that time where there's a girl wearing your favourite t-shirt and not much else and it's, it's pretty awesome <laughs> perfect premise for a song let's, uh, let's play the song favourite t-shirt from Two Stowaway our live studio guest today and he's all the way from Melbourne and he's travelling around North America 